organized. I'll just triple check. Yep, sleeping giant. Okay, so it's JMJ versus RSTC. It's a tiebreaker match. Uh, so we got that going on at the moment. So that's going to be good for everybody. Uh, we're going to draw out the winner uh, for the two cold containers. Yeah, that was a mouthful. Two cold containers right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go Slaughterman and also Adam23Fox. Congratulations, guys. Message me on Twitch. Thank you. There you go. All right, we'll do more draw as well. Okay. So 30 seconds for that while I change who is who and what's what. <laughs> we need to, we need to change the uh the teams. Okay, this should be there. J and J versus the C. And the signals container giveaway has started now, folks. Um, we're just trying to get, you know, everything all organized. So go ahead, jump in um, with the giveaway. I do apologize ahead well in advance that we are juggling between a lot of things happening right now back to back. So if you can bear with us, please, um, just give us like a couple of minutes for both PC and myself to quickly uh, pull this together for you all. Yes, it sure but, is. but uh, a big shout out and thanks to the referees and the coordinators for bringing us into these tiebreakers as well. All right, we're going to go to live screen and get ready for the next match. We sure are. Okay, so in one second, I'm going to do a draw on my stream here. So the winner is. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, the winner is. Power Egg 2000. That's pretty cool. Um, I better double check if that matches. Yeah. Yep. Uh, all right. So I've got to fix up. Yep. I'm just quickly fixing up the tiebreaker thing. Man, this yeah, is I'm great. doing the same thing. I was I was doing like three things at once at one stage. <laughs> Oh, we need to go in. They're starting the game. I'm already in there now. So luckily, yeah. um, uh, J and MJ and uh, who's the mod? Are the mod? Uh, so it's J and MJ versus RSTC. So we didn't get a chance to do the bands or anything like that. We know it's a slipping giant, but I'll do J and MJs. So they're bringing in Vermont, Burgoyne, two Stalingrads, the Henri, the Kaba, two Marsos, and the Yu Yang. Uh, read out a save for me, please, PC. I'll just pick okay, the and for us. RSTC have brought in the Ohio, Burgoyne, Des Moines, two Stalingrads, a Harugamo, Kaba, Maso, and the Yuyang. So, to talk Yuyang's. about the bands real quick uh, while we're here in the match right now, we've got Napoli, Jadansk, Marseille, Brisbane, Colbert, Ragnar, Petro, and Moskva. Interesting choices. Very, very. All right. All right. So, this is a tiebreaker versus jmj and rstc let's have a look what rstc is doing here i'm hoping they're going to be a crossover whoa there's a crossover <laughs> okay there's a crossover okay there's a crossover happening with the uh harugamo des moines and Stalingrad and Masto are actually moving uh they're shuffling towards a and the rest is going sure to is. bravo and delta right now What's the yeah, other guys? A bit of a, min of a, a miniature uh, crossover here on J and MJ's uh, top, uh, teams here. We've got the Begon, Henri, and Carver heading right. towards C. Right. The two Marceaux are heading towards B, it looks like. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the fleet, which is the Stalingrad, Vermont, Stalingrad. Uh, sorry, the st two Stalingrads, the Vermont, and the Yu Yang are heading towards A. So oh. let's see what these Marceaux do from J and MJ. They're going to go in together here. you think they'll try and still be to be or not to be and it's a question not to be or not to be exactly right the Marso from rstc is trying to get in quicker than the yu yang trying to steal this cap quickly yeah 
see what happens here. We've got the teams from C and D at the moment. Those caps are not contested yet. So we'll look at this cap here on A cap. Yu Yang has, does have radar. Not in range yet. Getting closer each time. He has seen him now. It is covering him. All right, so the Stalingrad has taken shots at the U at the Marceau, but did not hit. Vermont also has taken shots, and it's just missed. All shots have missed. He's going to take the cap if they don't touch him. Or oh, to reset him. Yeah. RS RSTC would be spewing on that one. The Yi Yang has seen also the Stalingrad. The Stalingrad has got. Yeah, for RSTC is just sitting on the edge of the island, so the Ewing must have seen him or seen something there, knowing that this is another ship on their way. But they have fortunately taken the A cap. So the Marsos are in control at the moment, with D as well, not letting the Yuyang in. Yuyang has just hit a radar against the two Marsos, I say. They definitely know they're both there. It looks like RSTC is going to try and take these Marsos out very, very quickly. It's all maneuvering around here. One of the Marsos from JNMJ is taking a fair bit of damage. Lost half its health. Still moving along here. The Burgoyne is moving into position as well as the Henri from JNMJ. We've got the Stalingrad taking position just in front of B. We'll not be moving anymore forward that because there's an Ohio just sitting there waiting for something to get into B. Looks like there's Torps heading towards from the Marseille, heading towards the Stalingrad for JNMJ. Let's see how close these ones get. Stalingrad is moving back. But looks like these torps may do at least one, maybe one or two. He's going to take one torp and the second torp right on the front of the nose. He has DCP there and starting the repair. There is more torps here from the Yu Yang. That's just been launched towards that area there. Unfortunately, being deep water isn't going to do much. There's only a Desmond they're going to really worry about. The Harugamo and the Marceau for RSTC do not have to worry about these deep water torps at all. All their focus fire from RSTC are on that Stalingrad, trying to get that Stalingrad burnt right down. You can see that the uh, Stalingrad from RSTC has not done much at all. No. What do you reckon, Rev? It's just sitting there. Yeah, that's why I was wondering, what is he doing? Mm. He's keen focus fire on at the moment right now. Whoa. <sighs> the, that Stalingrad. Yeah, the RSTC one. Yeah, RSTC, yeah. But look at the JM and G, uh, uh, like, you know, Stalingrad, he's actually getting annihilated right now. Yeah, he's down to his last 5,000 health. 4,338, he is still burning. Mm. He will be able to DCP this right now, which he has, so he's down to 3,800. Now they're focusing on the Yu Yang. Well, Scott is still going to the Stalingrad. Sure is, so the JNMJ Stalingrad has been take has, has been taking is getting shots from the Ohio and the Stalingrad from Jane uh, RSTC. RSTC is actually Jane. really focusing fire on the one as well too. They sure uh, looks like the Marso is taking B cap as well. Hmm. It's a bit of an interesting po uh, case in point here that both teams have both caps. Both teams are mm -hmm. pretty steady with the points, so it could go either way. But it looks like that RSTC is helpful is that actually in the favor at the moment against Jane and MJ. Yeah. Sure is. All right, so we've got the Jane and uh, RS, RSTC moving in slowly from the decap, trying to take up the Carba and the Marso. The Honoré at the back here has not done much at all at the moment, as we can see. There is Torps inbound from JNMJ heading towards the Stalingrad, but they will not hit. Is 
they're dark at the moment so anything can happen over there at the at this stage over at a so they're kind of like left in limbo right now most of the action, the, most of the action has swift shifted over towards the other side of the battle right now that is correct at the moment so we're looking at a cap at the moment so we have rstc slightly in front at 531 to 486 compared to j and mj so they are slightly ahead in points the two Stalingrads from JNMJ have to make sure that they are into proper defensive positions here. JNMJ have to bounce back and push hard to actually score some good points here. Um, need to take at least one ship out. That might be... No. Here comes the move here from the EA from RSTC. It's launch torps. Hopefully heading towards the Henri. Trying to push out all of these, but looks like JNMJ have launched torps against the Yu Yang. I'm not sure if the Yu Yang has seen these torps yet. Looks he's, like he has. He's going to go right in the middle. He is taking, he's not taking any torps there. The Bagorn and the Carver are trying to take out this Marso. Stalingrad from RSTC has radar, but there's Henry not going to be radar for them. The Hunter is gone. Or yeah, JMJ. It was down by the Stalingrad. Yep. That's, that's leading further in the points for RSTC. RSTC. Yep. Unfortunately, I don't think the Yang in this map is going to help any of them at this stage. No. The Yang is trying desperately to get some, you know, top hits on the Des Moines, for example, but still. I mean, like that Haruka might can. Ooh, the Moines gonna get some torps here from the Yang from JNMJ. He's just hit his hydro, but it's gonna be too late at this stage. He might take one or two, or he's gonna go right through him. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What a uh, That was classic. That was class. What I mean, a move. That was, what a move that was right definitely there. Class. Yeah. That was definitely class. So we're looking here at RSTC are still in lead of the points, 576 to 724, 727 now. The Begoin yeah. from JNMJ is going to go down here. The Ohio Oz as well is down to his last 20,000 health. All focus fire on the Stalingrad from RSTC here at the DCAP. Doesn't look like much will happen to him now. It's been focused fire too hard, as well as the Ohio. But it looks like the Stalingrad will go down first. And there he goes. Leading the points even further. 604 to 752. With RSTC slightly in front. The Marso oh. is trying to burn this Ohio down. It might go down now, actually. There he goes. There he goes. Ohio's definitely gone. <clears throat> but it's actually interesting that JMJ are trying to hang in there and yeah. try and turn this battle around. And it's looking like they could do it, but they just need to focus a little bit harder. If you look at the map, you, yeah, in the map, you, you think that um rstc do have more ships but they're actually even so there's two ships both both there's two ships down for each team mm -hmm. but if you look at the carbo right now trying to burn down this Burgoyne, if he takes a Burgoyne down they're going to be a very well equipped here to take d and go into it even further because they're actually starting to catch up on the points so it's 761 Ooh, shot from Dungra? so yep we'll see here Oh, this is, look at, hang on, look at the paint oh. in the middle. It looks like there's a ship of ship colliding gonna be here. What are we gonna say here? Will that happen? Is the question. Oh, no, wow! Will that was <laughs> lucky. Very lucky. <laughs> it will not. It will not. That will oh, even, the, no. even the Vermont for JNMJ is actually taking damage. Yep, 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 yep. That was lucky. <clears throat> So the Marseille from RSTC here right in the middle will be supporting the Stalingrad. And the Marso, two Marsos and the Kaba are against the Yuyang and the Kaba. 
If they take the, if these three ships take these two ships down, it can change very quickly. They need this cargo down very quickly. Looks like the Marso from JNMJ might go down quick though, because it's right there from the Yu Yang. Hmm. Looks like yeah, we're gonna see what we can do. Carver is moving around. They're both moving around now. The, you probably think that Yu Yang will be the best shot to get first. Yeah. I'm just watching this very, very carefully. Mm. This is pretty good tight battle on all fronts here, but there's nothing really happening over on the northern side, so I'm more focused on the southern side of the action here. That uh, is correct, yeah, that is correct. So JMJ Stalingrad will eventually see he has got no radar at the moment. But the Marso may spot him and give RSTC Stalingrad a chance to shoot. Or just try and shoot these two here, right in front of him. No, he did go for him. Well, hang on. Shots been fired at the Stalingrad at JMJ. Um, and this Torps inbound as well from JMJ. Yeah. To the Yu Yang, but they will miss. Yeah. Yeah. So it's 886 to 807 in favor of RSTC at the moment. This is one all. So the winner will go to the next round. The funny thing is, I'm just looking at the points right now, that the points is like a minute 32 for JMJ. Mm -hmm. If they keep going, oh no, hold on, they might lose this Stalingrad. Oh, Jam and Jay. Stalingrad is reverted into those talks. He's going to take them. Yep. That's gone into the favor of RSTC. Sure has. So it's 950 to 816. The Marso from RSTC is taking a bit of damage. But the Stalingrad is here to support. He's changing the HE at the moment. I'm trying to get a, we got a full solo on him. He's got his back guns turning at the same time. Does a little bit of damage. Took out his torps. Hmm. Still hasn't repaired yet. There's the other shot there. Took out yeah. his guns again. Yeah. Took out yeah. his guns. Yep. gone. Bang, bang, there, bang. There, is. there is the winner. There is the winner right there. Well, very interesting. That is a very good match between both teams. Sure is. So sure RCC is. has um, won the match. Yep, and they've gone to the next round. They've gone to the next round. So that's actually very good for gameplay. And JMJ fought, you know, validly in that battle. Um, but they sure did. They sure did. Great job to RSTC. Congratulations, guys, <laughs> going around to the next round. Um, that means that. On day five, we'll be seeing a bit of an interesting third place match coming up soon. We will be. So just going back to what ships were left. So JNMJ had the Vermont, Yuyang, and the Carver, and the RSTC.